Fits right between the screen and the fan. Nice and snug, but not too tight. That's perfect. Here's a close-up shot. By the way, the filter I used is called a high-velocity or low-resistance air filter. So the air gets pulled through, almost like there's no filter even on the back of the fan. Alright, start by measuring the window fan. Looks like about 19 and a half inches by about nine and a half inches. Alright, the width of the pad is about 20 inches and the length of the fan is 19 and a half, so I won't even have to cut that side. Just trim it up after I put it on there. It's 30 inches long, fan's 9.5 inches wide, so I'll cut at the 10 and the 20 inch mark. And then we'll have three pads that'll easily fit on the back of that fan. Alright, to connect this, you can do it several ways, but I'm just going to use zip ties. So here and here, here and here. Now I'm just going to trim up the excess. One last thing, the area above the fan, if you have those windows that open sliding sideways, you're going to want to block the screened area above the fan. So for now I just got the rest of the air filter in there, but you're going to want to use maybe plywood or plexiglass or something for a more semi-permanent setup. If you just throw the fan in there once in a while and you know it's not going to rain, even cardboard will work. But I like the filter idea. It fits right in there on my window. Just one last thing, I noticed that I'm left with a 20 by 20 inch piece, exactly, fits perfect on a box fan.